Hello my lovelies, um, I'm really sorry that this is being filmed on my MacBook camera, not my normal camera. This is my third time trying to film this video so I'm sort of getting a little bit sick of uh, filming it so I've given up hope on the cameras because uh, I filmed it in HD and that was going to take 23 hours to upload and then I tried filming it today and I got halfway through and my camera batteries died so third time lucky, fingers crossed. Um, this will work. I've got no idea what the quality will be like, so do let me know um, what you think of it. Today I'm going to be bringing you um, a few e.l.f. reviews. I was recently sent uh, some brushes uh, from the new Bamboo range, so I'll be telling you a little bit more about those. And also, um, there's a couple of bits that I bought myself, and I'll give you my opinions on those too. So let's start with the Bamboo brushes. I was sent four of these for review purposes. Um, and they're a new line that's come out as part of the mineral range. Uh, I can't quite remember how much they are. I think they're £4.50, but I'll pop that down in the bottom bar um, when I'm done. And I was sent the foundation brush, which is like this. And the thing that I like about this is that it's not too fat and not too thin. Um, and it's really, really firm. So I feel like it's not going to have too much give as you're going um, and you could use quite a light stroke with this or a much firmer stroke um, to get a really lovely finish. I haven't been able to probably give this one a try because um, I'm not using liquid uh, foundation at the moment just because I feel like my skin needs a bit of a break. But I do feel really excited about it. It feels very similar to my Eco Tools brush. In fact, a little bit stiffer. Um, so I quite like that about it. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a fabulous, fabulous brush. So there's that one. I was also sent um, a smudge brush, which looks like that. Um, these all have a little bit of darkness on because I use them to do my eye makeup today. Um, and this is a gorgeous little brush for either using on the waterline, well, under the waterline, lower lash line, uh, sort of smudging eyeliner. You could use it as a lip brush. Um, or for sort of really um, spot concealing, you could use it for that. Really, really like this brush. Again, it's really firm. It's not um, splaying out a lot as I push my finger to it. So I love the feel of that brush. Um, really, really useful brush. Next, I was sent the lash and brow comb. And I have to be honest, a bit of a weird one to talk about because it's a lash and brow comb. Uh, quite similar to other lash and brow combs. Really long handle though, so it means when you're doing your brows, you can actually have your hand quite ergonomically positioned. It's also got um, an angled brow comb. I don't quite know if you can see that there. Can you see? Um, again, meaning that it's much better for when you're doing your makeup um, and doing your brows. I really, really like this. Um, and the lash comb is your standard lash comb. Me lash goodness, uh, and finally, I was sent the blending eye brush, uh, which looks like this. It is dark at the um, end because my eye makeup was done with this today, uh, so actually, this brush should be the same colour as the foundation brush, um, sort of nice, creamy colour. Uh, I really like this blending brush, it's similar in some ways to the number 7 blending brush, if any of you have picked this up, but it's a lot firmer. Um, the thing with the number 7 brush is I find it to be quite soft um, and it splays out quite a lot, whereas this really keeps its shape uh, when you are getting into the crease, so lovely brush for that. Um, really, really do recommend this one, actually it's one of my favourite brushes that I was sent. So all of these brushes are made with a bamboo handle which is really environmentally friendly because bamboo is a sustainable product for them to grow. Um, so fabulous to have that instead of plastic or some of the hardwoods which are a bit um, rarer or lead to deforestation and that sort of thing. The brushes are synthetic, uh, they're made of Taclon which is the same thing I think as the studio brushes are made of, so that's antibacterial um, and really really hard wearing and I've had no shedding from these uh, the ferrules are all really secure, um, there's no scabby bits of glue around the bottom or anything like that. So good brushes, definitely recommend those. And then I discovered e.l.f. about, well, when I first became a blogger really, but before that my mum had told me about it. 
My mum loves a bargain and I'd refuse to look at them because I figured that they'd be a bit rubbish. But I've become a bit of an elf convert over the last six months, so I'm absolutely loving them. And these are just some products I've got recently. Uh, not necessarily my favourites, just things I've picked up that I happen to have lying around, so I thought I'd chat about them. So there is the under eye uh, concealer and the highlighter. And this is in Fair, which is a fairly good match for me. In the summer, this will probably be a bit too light. Um, so I've just been using this for under eye concealing, um, which is really useful because I'm using MAC Mineral Skin Finish at the moment just every day at work. Um, show it on quickly. Uh, and this is great for just getting any dark bags. And then the highlighter is really lovely. Um, for some reason, mine has got a pink brush. Really don't know why, but um, fair enough. Um, so it's like that, and then if I... Just blend that in. You re you don't need much of this actually, um, and it's got a really lovely, you can't quite see that very well, shimmer to it. So love those. Very rich pigment on your concealer as well. Don't need much at all. Um, just, yeah, as you can see, a little really does go a long way. So there's those. Uh, the next thing is. These, these are from the regular line, uh, sorry, this is Studio Nice, this is £3.50, this is from the regular line, and it is the Waterproof Eyeliner Pen, these are £1.50, this one is in Plum, uh, although I can't quite tell much difference between this and the black one, and they're just absolutely amazing. If you're like me, and you're a bit of an idiot, and can't quite get the hang of um, lining with an ink liner, which I can't do. I end up with it here, here, anywhere, but actually where it's meant to go. These are amazing. They make it really, really easy um, and really simple, and they don't budge. They really, really don't budge. So absolutely love these. Definitely think you need them in your kit. They do them in black, blue, plum, grey, and brown, I think. Um, and I have black and plum, and I'll definitely be getting more because they are phenomenal value for money. You need those. And then finally, I picked myself up um, a brightening eye colour quad. I've heard quite a lot about these. These are £1.50. Regular line again. And this one is in brownstone. And I'm, I use it today for this look. Um, which has sort of worn off a bit now. But that's fine. Um, at the moment, I'm unsure. I'll be honest. I'm not really sure what I think. Um, the pigmentation is okay, it's not amazing, nothing to write home about. The thing that's annoyed me the most with this so far is uh, the shape of the triangles. I just find them really, really difficult to get my brush into. Um, so there you can see the pigmentation, they're good really for 150 for four eyeshadows, shouldn't be complaining. Um, and I'd love to try some others with slightly more exciting colours in, maybe. Maybe I, this is quite a matte set, so maybe a slightly more shimmery, exciting set would probably be good to give a try. Um, but £1.50, that's not bad, is it? So there are my little things. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you've used anything from MAC that you think I should give a go, do leave a comment uh, down below. And sorry it's been so long since I've done a video, I hope to do one again soon. See you later, bye!